this week I'm going to show you how to make this pilgrim. This one is for advanced balloon artists, but I am going to show you how I make it. And even if you're advanced, I'm still going to explain the steps. So for this, you need a lot of balloons because he has different socks and little cuff things and this little thing going across in his hat. So what we need for this one, this would be nice just to take along as um, a little sculpture giveaway. It might be a little bit more extensive for line work, but maybe you can get some ideas from it. So let's get started. This one you need one copper chrome 260, five black 260s, one white 260, one blush 260, three white 160s, one mocha 160, and one blush scrap piece of a 350. Okay, let's get started. Let's start with your pilgrim's shoes. Take a black 260 with a five finger tail. You're gonna make a cherry tomato size bubble and pinch twist it. And then make little loops to go around two fingers. One little loop. Then we're gonna keep his feet connected to hold his feet together. And to do that, make a little cherry tomato size spacer bubble and another cherry tomato size bubble and pinch twist it. And then another little loop to go around two fingers. And then we're gonna go back across and make another little bubble spacer bubble. That'll just kind of hold his feet together. And now what we wanna do is pop and tie this off. You can cut the little nub at the end and leak the air out if you want. And there should be a knot where you started your balloon, where you inflated it, to tie it to. So you have your pilgrim's little feet. And now we want to make his socks. Take a white 260 with a five finger tail and wrap it around one of the pinch twisted little feet. And then set it aside and pick up another black 260 with a five finger tail and let's make his pants. We'll add that in in a minute. Make three cherry tomato size pinch twisted bubbles for the bottom part of his pants where his high socks are connected. Right here. And then we're gonna get another black 260 with a five finger tail and do the same exact thing that you just did. Three cherry tomato sized bubbles and pinch twist them. One, two, three. So you have this. And then pick up the one that you started for his feet and measure a four finger bubble, put four fingers down by the shoe and twist up above it and then bend this in to right here and twist it around. And then take the other one and we're going to just kind of take it across. We're going to mush the air out a little bit like that. Just kind of squeeze the air out like this and wrap it around the other black balloon with the three pinch twists. And then take this down four fingers. And if it's too tight, just squeeze it here and here to fill it out a little bit. It's gonna be the same size as this one. Twist it around and then break and tie it off. You can cut the sand, leak the air out, or you can just pop and tie it off. It's up to you. I'll pop and tie it off. And then wrap this around that pinch twist in the back of the other shoe. 
and then cut the remaining scrap piece off up here. And then we want to measure two four finger bubbles, but one at a time. A four finger bubble for his thigh up here. And then make a cherry tomato sized bubble and pinch twist it. Do the same thing on the other side. A four finger bubble, a cherry tomato sized bubble and pinch twist it. Then we're going to go across his belly, two fingers across his belly. Twist that off. It's just a little tiny spacer bubble. Just a little bit bigger than a cherry tomato size. And wrap it in to the other pinch twist. So this, so you have this and wrap it in to the pinch twist on the other side. Have that one go up and then take the balloon that was already over here and go over to the other side. Wrap a little bubble, a little spacer bubble, a little bit bigger than a cherry tomato size about two fingers fit across there maybe one and a half and twist it so you have this there's his little shoes his little socks and his little legs and then what you want to do is measure a five finger bubble and a cherry tomato size bubble and pinch twist it one more cherry tomato size bubble and pinch twist it. Do the same thing on this side. Five fingers and two cherry tomato size bubbles and pinch twist them. So you have this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a little elbow in on each side, however long you want his arms. So I'm going to measure down three fingers, put a little... Um, kink in the balloon, bend it, and pluck it out. And then three fingers down here to give him an arm. Like three on each side of his elbow so it's his arms long enough. And then we're going to pop and tie this off. You don't need any pinch twist in there after this um, bubble because we're going to add the little cuff links on his arms and his hands. So I'm going to cut that and tie it off because it's pretty tight. And this is opened at the top. So do the same thing on this side. All right, doing the same thing on this side. Three fingers. Pluck the elbow out, put it in, and three fingers. And then pop that and tie it off. And then you need a little piece sticking up. To attach the hands so I, you can leave this on until you're done attaching the hands to make the hands I'm just gonna make a little bit of a bigger cherry tomato size bubble for the thumb about two fingers and then a little loop around one finger for the hand and then I'm gonna pop and tie this off and if you can't retie it like hold it and retie it then you can just pick it back up and inflate it the rest of it you only need it blown up a little bit and then you just uh, reinflate it or um, use it. You just need two little hands out of it. So it only needs like a five or six or seven finger tail because you only need a little piece of it. Make a little cherry tomato size bubble, a little loop around one finger and take the hand and you're going to tie it to the scrap piece of black that's sticking out. I tie that two times so it doesn't come undone. And then you can cut the long scrap piece off. Do the same thing with the other hand. Same size, two finger bubble, loop around one, cut and tie or pop and tie it off. And tie it twice so it doesn't come undone and then tie it around the other black end of the arm. That's why you might want to wait to tie or cut the long black scrap piece off so you have more balloon to work with. It makes it easier to tie it. And then I cut these scrap pieces off that are sticking out of the thumbs. Now take a white 260 and we're going to make a little cherry tomato size bubble. 
pinch twist it. And then we're gonna go around the arms right here. Close up to under where all this junk is. Wrap it around pretty tight for the little cuff link. And wrap that around. And then make a little tiny spacer bubble. It's like a little one finger bubble and another little tiny one finger bubble and pinch twist it. So there's a pinch twist, a spacer bubble, a pinch twist. And then wrap it around for the second cuff link. Right like this. Wrap it around, pop and tie that off. Now, you can use the rest of this for your other cuff link, or you can blow up another white 260. I'm going to try to use the rest of this. So I'm just going to tie it off, and I'm going to tie off this long piece that I just broke off so the air doesn't come out, and then cut this little scrap piece off, or you can tuck it in to hide it. So this is still open at the side, but I'm finishing up my cuff links, or <laughs> I don't know if they're cuff links or cuffs, I guess they're just cuffs. You know, do the same thing around this other one before we go on. Little spacer bubble pinch twist, and then around, and then pop and tie it off. scraps off. So you have this and then take another white 160 and we're going to go across with it. We're going to take the knot and wrap it around two of these pinch twists and we're going to measure about about three fingers on the white 160 and then a little tiny round bubble and pinch twist it three fingers on the other side and then connect it into the other side of the shoulder and then we're going to go across the back just straight across it's about four fingers wrap it around and then underneath we're going to kind of curve it a little bit you can, I mean, you can curve it up and put it right into there and then go back over or you can go like down four fingers, make a tiny little spacer bubble and wrap it around so that it looks like it's, you know, open. It's up to you ultimately what you want to do. I mean, how I made it here, I just kind of looped it. I guess we'll stick with that, but that's an idea you can do too. I'll take that out. So it doesn't mess us up. So it's just kind of curved under and then curve it under the other loop that you made before on the other side. Wrap it around. Check and make sure that's about the same size. Pop and tie this off. I'm going to tie it out here. And then after I tie it, I'll wrap it around the pinch twist and kind of hide it in the back here and let go of it. Then we want our third um, black 260. I like to hide these white pinch twists in the back. Take the third one and you're going to wrap it around one of his hips on the side here. One of the pinch twisted hips on the side. Go down about three bubble, a three finger bubble right here and then make a pinch twist. Our next bubble goes across the back to make his little tail thingy and that's about a six finger bubble. So from this pinch twist, put your hand across, there's five fingers and then add a second finger right there. So it's six fingers and go over here and that's where we're gonna twist it. And then make a cherry tomato sized bubble and another three finger bubble about the same size as this one. 
and we're going to go around and wrap it on the hip on the other side. And then this part gets taken up to the pinch twist in the middle, but we want to pull it down because see how it's sticking up? So only make this about, about four fingers from here to here. Make it about four fingers and then pull that down and wrap it in. So it's like this. I'm gonna wrap it around twice and then go back down to the other hip. So it's, it's coming from here up. We're gonna go down to the other hip on the other side about four fingers and make it about the same size. And then straighten them out, make them stand up. You can push, push these pinch twists over towards the front to make them stand upright. And you can even curve this in the back. So arch it and kind of squeeze it a little bit and it'll curve that tail that's in the back. And then what we want to do is take this up through, take what's left over up through the middle at the top and pull it. And just kind of tuck it in in the back, just tuck it into the middle like that. Just give it a little tuck in. And then put your fingers down here and twist it off. We want to kind of twist it off down below this white bubble so when we put the head on it's not bobbling so it sits on there nicely. So I'm twisting that around pretty good and then I'm going to cut the very end of this and leak all that air out and then tie it off two times so it doesn't come undone. So it's kind of down in there. So one, I think one time is good enough. And uh, then take however long you want your pilgrim's head. Uh, blush 350. This one is about five fingers. And tie it around that knot that you have sticking up from the, from the black one. It's coming out the center of the head right there and cut the little knots off, cut the remaining part off up above the knot. So you have that. You can fix his little sides, you know, to make it look how you want it to look. And you can fix this up here. And you can tuck, you can even pull this over and tuck the little bubbles in to get them to stand the right way however you think it looks good. And you can drop his arms down underneath this white part in the front if you want. You can have him holding a turkey or a pumpkin or whatever you want him to hold. So here's his arms. And drop them down to the sides or however you want. And then we'll put his little hat on. And then you want to take your last black 260. This one also has a five finger tail. And you're going to start with two pinch twists. Two cherry tomato sized bubbles and pinch twist. And then you're going to wrap this knot. You can squeeze the air out and tie it off if you want to. So it's like this, and then wrap this onto the top. So you have this, and then measure up five fingers, and then back down five fingers, and wrap it around those two pinch twists, and then make a little tiny spacer bubble about a cherry tomato size, and then make another cherry tomato size bubble and pinch twist it. And then we're gonna go around all this at the top to make his hat. The whole way back to that pinch twist that you just made. Wrap that around pretty good. 
and then cut or pop and tie it off. And then I'm going to tie it two times. Or one time and it popped off. <laughs> so you have this. And then take a brown, your last brown mocha 160. And we're going to start with a three finger bubble. And then we're going to wrap it around right underneath here. Just kind of wrap that around. And then you're going to go down to the bottom where his neck is and twist it around. And go back up here. Twist that in. Just keep going back and forth until there's four bubbles. Go back down. Twist it around. And then back up one more time. And this black pinch twist goes in the back of his hat right here. And then, so you have like one longer one and one a little bit shorter. And then I'm just going to kind of take this long piece and tuck it under his hair and kind of wrap it around the neck. It's all going to hide down there anyway, so it won't matter. And then you can take this other one that has the knot where we started and just kind of Go in the back here and pull that knot and wrap it around. So you have that and his hair will stay parted for you on the side. So here's your little pilgrim and then we want to add his little belt. Uh, which I hope I said it, but you take a little um, chrome gold piece uh, 260, a chrome gold 260, and then we're going to put it around his suit. So here's the chrome piece, and then there's a little knot that I left kind of sticking up here, and you just wrap it around one of the pinch twists on his hips, and then you just kind of leave this a little loose, and you can tuck it in. And then just go around the back to the other side. And then you just kind of tuck it in here and go up to the buckle and tie it around. I'm going to cut this. I have just a little tiny puff of air left in that, which kind of fills it out just, just right. And then I'm going to tie it around this pinch twist. I cut the end off, let some air out. I just kind of like the way that it looks with the little teeny bit of air in here. So I just kind of wrap that around there. I guess you could just let it lay around there too. You don't have to tighten it. It's up to you. So he has this. And then you can draw the buckle on. And here's where we just put the artwork on the pilgrim. But... I'm just going to put like a little black square in the middle and then a larger square outside of that little black square for his buckle like that. And then um, for this one, for the color to stand out, you need what's called an edding marker, a white edding marker, and you can put a square up here on his hat. These are really nice because... Um, they look great on balloons. They stick well, and the white coloring is really good. Um, you can get them from La Rocks Magic. That's where I get all mine. Um, you can probably also find them on Amazon. But I just get them with my balloon order because the shipping is free after you order a bunch of balloons, which I do all the time. So, there's that. And then... You want to let that dry so it doesn't mess up your Sharpie. But once that's dry, you can put the orange buckle or yellow buckle or whatever color you want the buckle on the top of it. I've even used those shiny gel markers and they look really nice. So while that's drying, I'm going to put the face on. And to do that, I'm just going to make two kind of ovals. Like this. And fill uh, 
little oval sitting in the bottom, like kind of like falling egg yolks. <laughs> it can be tricky to draw on the balloons, but do the best you can. And then here, I'm just gonna draw, draw what's like an upside down number seven. And then I'm gonna put little curves on it for the sides of his nostrils. And then give him little eyebrows up above. And you can even draw across eyelids if you want to. And then two sides to the to his mouth. And then I'm gonna just make it like a smile. And then I'm gonna give him like a bottom lip like that. And then I'll put two white little shine marks in his eyes. Like that. And here's your pilgrim, but I'm gonna fill this in too. So stick your Sharpie marker over top of that once that's dry. It can run off onto the black because it won't show up anyway. Whatever color it is, it won't matter. So there's his orange buckle. And now here I have two little pilgrims. So here are your pilgrims and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I hope this one wasn't like too elaborate, but I just wanted to show you some fun things you can do with balloons. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next video.